uh, films that that have the potential to kind of uh, look at urgent social issues in a way that is not being covered by by the rest of the media. Um, we kind of look for the intersection of documentary and journalism when it comes to the films that we fund. We know that not all documentaries are journalism and uh, that there are different cultures there, but we believe that documentaries can commit acts of journalism. And uh, we look for, for that, you know, we look for compelling storytelling, experienced filmmakers, and uh, films that look at an underreported issue or have the potential to uh, show a, a new side of an issue that we think that we know well as audiences. It's, you know, I, what I want to highlight is the way that we fund uh, independent documentaries because that's a, that's a piece of the work. Uh, we, we do fund um, many of the, uh, of the public media uh, documentary strands like POV and Independent Lens and they have amazing impact campaigns built into their work. But the way that we look at funding independent filmmakers is through a yearly open call uh, for production funding. And it is for production funding, it's not for impact funding. And we realize that, you know, there's a great need for impact funding and for funding of the long tail of a film to ensure that it reaches all the audiences that, that can benefit from it. But we've made the choice to focus our funding on the, on, the, on the production itself, which can often be very costly. One of the great things that documentary films can do, you know, looking at them from kind of the journalistic lens is that you spend a ton of time with the, the characters that you're, um, that you're following with documentaries oftentimes. And they also have the, they have the potential to take kind of abstract public policy issues that might be kind of dry and really show the impact that they have on the lives of people, you know, every day. And so that's something that we also look for, where, you know, is someone that may have a preconceived notion of, of a particular policy or a particular um, uh, corporate practice or a particular community, um, are they going to be able to get to know some people in that community? And is that going to go ahead and, and maybe change the way they think about you know, the, the decisions they make in their lives. And that takes time, and that also takes knowing the context. And it may not all have to show up on screen, but you, that deep thinking about, you know, what is, you know, what is this community that I'm showing? What is this issue that I'm looking at? It's critically important. There is a conversation going on among funders about how, you know, how we can work together to be a little, make, make it a little easier for people to not have to reinvent the wheel or feel like they're duplicating effort to apply to everyone. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say that there's, I, I don't think that, you know, I can't speak for everyone, I, you know, it's not coordinated dis, decision making on which films to fund. We certainly consult with, um, colleagues in the field we consult with. When there is a film that's on a topic that um, the rest of the MacArthur, other parts of the MacArthur Foundation work on, like criminal justice reform, we do get in touch with those colleagues and get their thoughts. So we're always kind of, um, you know, it's, it's always a process of trying to gather knowledge on, on topics or on films from different perspectives. Mm -hmm.